Crews are on high alert this morning with more hot, dry, windy conditions expected today. We have live team coverage. CBS 2's Tita Patel is live in San Bernardino with an update on the Little Mountain Fire. But we begin with Car Finstrom live in Porter Ranch with a look at the latest conditions, and it's really windy. As you can see, it is windy out here, and this is not the worst of what's expected. That's still to come. So firefighters say they will be keeping close watch over recent burn areas like this one in Porter Ranch. It was picking up yesterday, but today it's, yeah, it's even worse. Beth Alba and Vicki Van Sloten braced against the wind as they took their regular morning walk. Less than two weeks ago, the hillsides all around Vicki's Porter Ranch home were ravaged by the Saddle Ridge fire. Now she's worried about this week's extreme fire weather. Thursday's going to be kind of nerve-wracking because the Santa Ana's are coming and there's still a lot to burn. Making matters even worse, it's going to be hot all week long. Temperatures across much of the Southland today will be in the 90s. And weary LA fire crews say the wind, the heat, and low humidity levels make one explosive fire combination. Yesterday, they were thrown into action again when the Palisades fire roared up slopes near multi million dollar estates. At Station 8 in Porter Ranch, just four firefighters are on staff and their gear is ready to go. They've still been putting out about a dozen hot spots within the Saddle Ridge burn scar daily. Their community has been dropping off baked goods and notes of thanks. They know, unfortunately, these crews aren't going to get rest anytime soon. And the firefighters did an excellent job. Excellent. And firefighters tell us the best thing communities can do to help them is to evacuate if they are asked to do so. They point out that yesterday there were about 200 homes evacuated in that Palisades area. All of them were back by nightfall. 